This technique is often used for treatment, giving the patients lots and lots of practice. And it is often described in the text as accommodative rock. So what's accommodative facility? It's a simply a method to find out how well the patient uses their accommodation. Traditionally, we've just measured near points of accommodation, but it hasn't really told us how well the patients can release accommodation. And we all of us, when we're looking at the dashboard of our car and then looking down the road at the signs, or if you're working at school, looking from your textbook back to the board, you need to be able to swiftly change from one to the other. So the standard test is usually using a set of lenses on a stick. On one side, you'd have a pair of minus two lenses, and on the other, a pair of plus two. And when you first test it, you need to do this in good light. Um, you would do it monocularly, and you'd ask the patient to tell you when an N5 print or N5 text is completely clear. Um, and as soon as the patient can do that through their minus two lenses, you know that they've stimulated two more diopters of accommodation. Flip it over, ask them to look through the plus two lens, and they will then release the two diopters from the minus two plus another two. So it's very important that you do this at no greater than 40 centimeters, otherwise the patient will not be able to make the text clear. And that's actually very, very important. Um, and then you record how many times the patient can flip between a minus two and a plus two, making it clear in one minute. The easiest way to do it is just to count the number of lenses they appear to be looking through and divide it by, by two. This is then repeated with both eyes working together. And remember when you're asking patients to stimulate two diopters of accommodation, they will have to converge because of the accommodative convergence. So binocular flipper testing is much more complicated and the patient will then have to pull their eyes back outwards to maintain clear single vision. So you always expect the results to be slightly less and it, it's very important to know that if a patient is cheating, which they can do by suppressing, even though possibly not on purpose, then the results will be at least as quick as one of the monocular results on the, probably the best monocular result that you recorded earlier. So you can compare the difference between the monocular results and the binocular results to get an understanding of what's going on. Of course, if you've got a patient that can't manage to stimulate two diopters of accommodation, you know that they have an insufficiency and they're unable to stimulate accommodation. But if they can't relax and see through a plus two lens, that's suggestive that they're over accommodating and cannot relax any of their accommodation, assuming you've got the refraction right, of course, and you need to rule out uh, latent hyper hyperopia.